In the search for true light, one can never give up. In the land of darkness, when one is searching for true light, one can never give up. There are a lot of false lights in the land of darkness, a lot. They are prevalent, they are common, they are everywhere. And false light is a mock. It presents itself as true light. But as I've said before, a half-truth is as good as no truth at all. And that's what the false light is. It's like a half-truth. That's why it's L-electrical. L in Roman numerals is 50. So it's a depiction right there symbolically. It's only half, as in 50-50. A coin with two sides. A one-eye symbol. Half a light. Half a truth. It's a mock. It's a jeer. It's a deception. So the search has to be arduous, and it's going to be arduous. It has been. There's so many deceivers, so much deception happening here in the land of death and darkness all the time. And the deceivers love to mock. They love to laugh at those who are doing that search. They love to laugh at the heart. That's the point. And that's why the team of abusers of the mind, they work as a team. They work as a collective. They are a hive mind. They're all in on it. Every last one of them, they know exactly who the targets are, and they're going after them. So one of the things that I wanted to get into here just for a moment is one of their common techniques, and that's the aspect of praise. Praise as also couched in with an insult and they'll sandwich these things together oftentimes either as an individual abuser or as a collective so in one sense they'll praise you they'll try to lift you up and then they'll insult you and oftentimes they'll do this in the same sentence or as a collective or a gang they'll have one person praise you and then another one will insult you and they're both in on it and they know exactly what their technique is, and that's the point. And the heart, it doesn't care about praise. It doesn't need praise. It's worthless. It's a worthless accolade. It's unnecessary in every sense of the word. So it's even in the word, raise. It's trying to raise you. Yeah, it raises you up so it can tear you down. And in going back to the analogy of being in a desert and you see someone has fallen down and they're dying of thirst and you happen to have some water you give them that water you do what's necessary you don't need thank yous you don't need some praise from them if they go on and on oh you're my savior you're my hero that's ridiculous none of that is necessary please stop saying that the heart just does what's needed what's necessary when it's necessary your praise is unnecessary your thank you is even unnecessary there's no need for thank yous and that's another thing i want to speak to any real hearts that might be out there in the void listening there is never a need to say thank you for anything that i've brought forth no need or room for any praise whatsoever there's nothing here that's praiseworthy at all. Never has been. Never a need for a thank you, ever. We need to get rid of that completely. It's another tactic of the mind. It's another hierarchy. I hope this can be seen and how it can be used against someone. So the heart just does what's necessary. The end. It doesn't need to be thanked. It doesn't need to be treated as some type of hero. Again, there's no outside saviors. Ever. Anywhere. So that needs to be extinguished completely. I don't need any of that. I don't want it. Ever at all. In any instance. 
I am no one's hero. I am no one's savior. I am just a voice calling out into the void, speaking with what I see. That's it. I'm saying what I see and doing it freely as I would hope anyone would do the same. Just as I would hope that anyone who sees someone falling down in the desert needing a sip of water and they happen to have water, they would do immediately what's necessary. They would give that person their water. The end. They don't need to be exalted. They don't need a medal. They don't need to be honored. Any of that garbage. All that stuff, all that shit is of the mind. So, it's time to be done with that completely. Think about being in a war. You're in a war and the enemy is coming down on you. And then you're just about to get struck by the enemy. And then one of your partners blocks that strike. You don't get busy saying, thank you, thank you so much. Here's a medal. It's just ridiculous. The thing that was necessary to be done was done. In the moment that it needed to be done. The end. So one has to see this is just a tactic of the mind. It always has been this idea of praise. Which is linked with the idea and concept and quality, if you can call it that, of pride. It very much is When people say, I'm so proud of my work, or you should be proud of your work. You see, it's the same thing. And then they compliment you. They exalt you. They put you on some kind of pedestal. All that is just a bunch of hot garbage. Every last bit of it. The heart doesn't need to be put on a pedestal. The heart has nothing to do with pedestals or compliments, or pride, vanity, any of these things. Compliments are for the gutter. They're for the trash. Get rid of them. Just see what's necessary. And then make that one's action. You see what needs to be done in the moment it needs to be done, the end. So that's the message for today. Talk to you again.